One in 22 military veterans die by suicide. The mental and emotional struggle returning from duty can often be one vets try to fight on their own. Our latest Inspiring 815 recipient wants all his fellow servicemen and women to know they are not alone. The Stars and Stripes sailing proudly a beacon for the Patriots inside the Boone County Veterans Club. Yeah, I always tell people, you know, if you're going to do a VFW, it doesn't matter which one you join, but you, you should join one of them. Try them out, see which one kind of fits you. For Army Combat Vet Mike Isham, his home is Belvedere Post 1461. It was actually my grandfather's organization first. When he passed away is kind of when I decided to join. Mike is the chaplain and a member of the Honor Guard with 1461, trying to change the perspective people have of the VFW. There's so much outreach and community outreach that we do and community service that we do. You know, we have a lot of women members. We have a lot of younger members coming in. Um, it's, it's a lot bigger than just your grandpa's VFW. He truly embodies what a chaplain is supposed to be for the VFW. He got me here, and once I got here, um, I found a community of like-minded individuals that understood me and what I was going through. Mike's focus on community engagement is getting statewide recognition, earning him the first ever Illinois Veteran of the Quarter Award. As we, you know, get older, uh, we look towards the next generation, and he is the next generation of the VFW. Mike wants to continue ushering in the next generation of veterans, like Brandon Avila, who came back stateside in 2020 after a tour in Afghanistan. I'm very fortunate to be where I am right now, and I know that it's because of the mentorship that I have had, dude, because some of the best men I know are in prison right now, some of the best men I know are getting divorced. A lot of us always talk about being alone. We, we feel alone, we can be surrounded by our loved ones, we can be in a crowded room and somehow still feel 100% alone. I think veterans are a lot more part of this community than they realize. Mike Isham, inspiring 815 by welcoming his brothers and sisters in arms with open arms to make sure no veteran ever feels alone. Reporting in Belvedere, I'm Evan Leak for 13 News. As always, we need your help honoring and recognizing people in our area impacting our lives through civility. You can fill out a nomination form on our Inspiring 815 page at WREX.com or send us an email at inspiring815 at WREX.com.